With prayers answered from our last trip to Mecca and a full Iman boost, your mother-daughter duo is back with another travel vlog, Saudi edition. Join us as we embark on a journey to the holiest and happiest places while we complete our Islamic pilgrimage and walk in the footsteps of our beloved Prophet Muhammad wasallam. I hope this series can be an both educational and a retrospective view into the journey of a Muslim woman traveling Saudi Arabia. And if you're into these kind of vlogs, hit the subscribe button, join the family, and let the Arabian Nights begin. Today's a really special vlog. Stay tuned to the end where we give you our best tip to entering the Roda. First stop, Masjid Quba, where it's stated that if you pray two rak'ahs on a Saturday before noon, it's the equivalent to one full Umrah. If you can handle the crowd, that is. It's so busy. We came to Masjid Quba today so we can do our two rak'ahs um, on Saturday before the Dhuhr, and that equals the equivalent of one full Umrah. But it's so busy, so inshallah we find a space. And uh, yeah, inshallah. It's so busy. Oh, such a pretty window. Anyway, I came upstairs. There's a whole section. I'm sure. You I just met a subscriber and it just warmed my heart so much because in the middle of all this chaos that a Somali mama comes out to me and says that she's been watching us and she saw me yesterday but she didn't have time to say hi. Like you don't understand how much people are here and that out of all that a Somali mom from Denmark came to say hi. Anyway, I definitely lost my mom so I'm gonna have to try and figure out how to do this. Like just look at the people. of Allah's creation and the most beloved of Allah's creation. Rasulullah wanted to deliver the message to his people. He wanted miracles that could most effectively deliver the message to his people. And the Prophet was responding to these questions with the high interest of... Hello, how are you? Mashallah, <laughs> we love this place. This is our jam right here. We walked all the way here for white chicken. 
white chicken cobra. <laughs> Happy to see other women in here. It's not just us. But we got lucky because it's Isha'i time and everyone's at the mosque. We'll be running there right about now. But uh, yeah, this place is the bomb. Bengali food for life. <laughs> Hilarious walking out of these men joints. <laughs> She's like, I see good food, I'm going in. Everyone in there. And we found the best place to eat. It's right across from the Haram. I wish I could describe it a bit better, but there's like this Rodeo Drive Boulevard over here. It's only gonna make sense when you come, but as soon as you see the Tims on the Rodeo Drive, go to the left of it. You see these white buildings. There's a Bengali restaurant. Order the white chicken cobra. You're welcome. So Alhamdulillah. Here it's called Cobra Front Street. Super posh on this side, and then proper local down there. Never ending. Wow, Shalbadu. MashaAllah. Can't believe it. We made it in. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. And there's no pushing in here once you pass the, the big battle. I can't believe we're entering, exiting the green dome. Like we never thought we would come out of this door. We just see people here. Like there's like so many men lined up over there to get in. God is great. God is great. Patience. Well, there's two doors. I'll tell you guys. And my Miami manager is on it. And we're like putting on our shoes. She's like, let's go check. <laughs> tell the peoples. So basically there's two doors. There's one for people with bookings on apps that don't work, don't bother, <laughs> um, and that door is 36, that's the door with apps that don't work. Then there's a door 32 where people who obviously don't know how to use apps, and we threw ourselves in that line, and it's just an open gate. All of a sudden they open the gate at one time and they let as many as they can. So Alhamdulillah, take your chances, stand at gate 32, be patient, be patient, exert all your patience and you'll be lucky to 
There it is, gate one, mom. They were exit to gate one. Thank you, thank you. I know he had nothing to do with it, but thank you for this amazing job that these people are doing. May Allah protect them and protect our prophet's place. Mashallah. Oh, we're going home on a high today. Alhamdulillah. Hmm? For anyone watching this episode who might not be up to date with the significance and why we are just so excited that we even got this opportunity to enter this portion of the Prophet's mosque is because this is the exact burial location of our beloved Prophet, may peace be upon him, Muhammad. So I need to show you guys what I was talking about, people with apps that don't work. This is the line to get in. All of this. And we just went in through the other side, gate number 32, with people that don't have apps. I'm telling you, there's a generation that can't use it, which makes perfect sense. And I'm glad they have two options, but sometimes technology is working against normal, normal ways of life. Mind you, no one's pushing in this line, so that's a big difference. <laughs> Allah! 